What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my recent sales for my business. Some of these have been on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji. Some of these have been on eBay, but my resale business has been booming and I love sharing all of this content with you guys as well. So all of the stuff that I'm gonna be talking about in this video is either Xbox related or Nintendo related. Let's just get straight into this. Up first, the first game that sold is Xbox 360 Mortal Kombat. This is the complete edition and it sold for $14. Now, for this one here, it was actually funny. I didn't get a negative feedback, I got a neutral feedback and they said that uh, in the, the comments that they made was that I listed it as complete with manual and everything, which I did not do and I ended up messaging them back explaining that it was the complete edition. It wasn't complete as far as the manual and everything. I didn't list that in the title that it was complete and I didn't list in the description that it was complete with manual, just that it was the complete edition for this game, which it was. So whenever he put the disc in, he got the complete edition. There was nothing that he needed to put, no code he needed to put. So he did get what I did list and I think it was just a little misunderstanding. Whenever he's seen Complete Edition, he thought the game was complete with manual, and that just was not the case for this game. Next was six Xbox 360 games. They sold for $25, roughly $5 each is what I charge, but if people are buying multiple ones, I will take a little bit of a deal, and I will give them uh, six games for $25, like I did in this case here. The next sale is two Xbox 360 games for $10. Like I just said, roughly most of my games for Xbox 360, I usually pick out the specific ones that sell for more on eBay and list them separately. Anything that sells for $5 or less, usually I'll list on Facebook Marketplace. I'll take a picture of the lots and say $5 each or best offer and I'll see what people are interested in. So those sales there. Next up is a Nintendo 3DS game Zelda Triforce Heroes. This game was just the cartridge only, no case. And surprisingly, it sold on eBay for $17. That was really shocking. I did buy a Nintendo 3DS with a couple games. So having this one sell from that launch, to me, I thought was incredible. Next was nine Xbox 360 games. This sold for $45, which was a great deal for me. And then we do have finally a Disney Plug and Play, the one I've been sitting on for months, finally sold on eBay though for $20. So that right there on the whole lot, I think I was already at $10 profit. That's $30 profit on the lot. I have two left. And honestly, I might just toss them because they are not moving. They're not going to move. This one here was a Disney one. The other one's, one's Dora the, Dora the Explorer. One is Bob the Builder. I can't find sold comps on them. I might just toss them or donate them. But this one here, finally it did sell, and it was really surprising for me. Next up is Max Payne 3 for the Xbox 360. This game sold on eBay for $15. Of course I had to ship it, but this one here I think was going to the States, so it did cost $12, no it cost $10 to ship, but I always charge $12 in case that it does cost me more whenever it comes to going and shipping it, because sometimes I'll go, I'll ship a game to the US, Sometimes it'll cost me $10 without tracking. Sometimes it'll cost me $13 without tracking. So usually I'll charge $12 just in case it does cost me more than it is covered. If it only cost me $10, then I made $2 extra on the transaction. Next was three hockey card mystery packs that I honestly wasn't expecting to sell. I think I have most of my hockey cards taken off of my eBay store just because a lot of the $2 packs were not profitable. Pay, uh, selling them for $2, somebody buying one, shipping it for $2 with fees, after fees and shipping, that's $1 profit. That's not worth me even going to the post office for. So a lot of those I did take down, but this here was my more expensive one. So they include jersey cards, autograph cards, um, rookie cards, things like that. So for the three packs, after fees and shipping was $37.50, which was amazing because that's stuff that's just been sitting there for my personal collection that I just wanted to see gone and it finally did sell. I sold three packs. Would I like to sell more? Yes, but I don't have enough shipping materials to be able to sell 
too many more hockey cards. It's just that, honestly, I don't collect them like I used to. If you can see the shelves behind me, I don't have any hockey cards or hockey stuff on display. Other than the very top shelf, I do have my hockey Funkos, a autographed mini stick, an autographed puck, actually two autographed pucks, and a couple other things like that. But other than that, all my hockey cards, my other two shelves that were all full of hockey stuff is all put away in storage right now. I don't collect hockey like I used to. Right now I collect a lot more gaming stuff, Marvel stuff, comic books, and things like that. So these ones here, I'm honestly just glad to see them gone. Next up is another game that was included in the 3DS lot that I did buy. It was, again, no case, but it was Kirby Planet Robobots. I think I pronounced that right. This game here, surprisingly, without the case, just the little cartridge, was $40 on eBay. Now, I looked up sold comps. It was roughly $50. I decided to list it for $50, had nobody hit, so I lowered the price down to $40, and somebody did buy it. Now... It was kind of funny. I had a bunch of people that day message me and send me offers for $10, $15. I think the highest offer I got was $20. And every time I hit them back and I say $35 is the lowest I'll go right now, nobody bought it. Somebody else bought it at full price, $40 for this game. And I thought that was just hilarious. And I love when that happens because a lot of times that will happen. I'll have a lot of people give me lowball offers and then somebody will end up buying it at full price. So to me, it's easier just holding out. I would have taken the 35 for the game, but nobody was interested. Somebody was interested at full price. So at the end of the day, I did make the sale and it was $40 profit for this item. And to me, that was amazing. And I'm really, really thankful for that. So this is all of the sales Recently, like I said, everything was either Nintendo or Xbox related, except for the plug and play, of course, that was a Disney product, just a plug and play into the TV game, but everything else was Disney, or sorry, everything else was Xbox or Nintendo related. In the next video, I will have a the 3DS that did sell, which was amazing, and I do have another Nintendo 3DS that I recently bought, the Nintendo 3DX uh, Galaxy Edition. I'm just waiting to get a pen in. It didn't come with a pen and when I list that I'm expecting it to sell really quick for a lot of profit. So I'm really excited for that But I'll share that in a future video if it does sell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace